Hi guys, so this is an issue that is, I think, particularly important and one that might not be addressed. You might not be thinking about this issue when you're first contemplating instructor solicitor from commencing proceedings against an ex-partner for a share of a property that you bought together. Uh, this is a Cohabitation Property Disputes blog and this is dealing with the issue specifically just with the issue of disbursements okay because the big question is when you're you know contemplating bringing proceedings against an ex-partner which is you know quite a significant step to be taking you obviously want to know what it's going to cost you un under a no win no fee agreement and it looks as if doesn't it no win no fee means no win no fee that the solicitor will run your case for free uh, so it's like a beautiful arrangement, isn't it? We'll run your case for free. He'll take 25%, whatever the percentage might be of your winnings. And uh, you won't have to put your hand in your pocket. You won't have to pay a penny. And you won't have to bear any of the risks of commencing litigation. Now, that might have been true before April 2013. And it might still be true in certain big factory operations and personal injury claims although even there perhaps not and really it's it's not it's not kind of never was really true anyway uh, because you've got to pay for uh, disbursements so uh, what are disbursements so when you enter into no win no fee agreement your lawyer is saying look I'll work for free in inverted commas it's a complex legal uh, situation but in essence to boil it down your lawyer is saying look I'll work for free if we win the claim you pay me if you lose you don't pay me a penny all right now you know that sounds all very uh, grand what he also should be telling you and I'm sure nearly all self-respecting solicitors, solicitors will be telling you this at the beginning of the case is Although you won't have to pay a penny of my legal fees if uh, we lose, yeah, you will have to pay for disbursements, and disbursements comprise court fees, council's fees potentially, and insurance potentially. And you may well have to put your hand in your pocket for those disbursements as the proceedings rumble along. So, for example, a big issue now, after April 2013, because the law in respect of no win, no fee changed, is that you cannot claim the insurance that insures you against having to pay your opponent's fees if you lose, okay? If you lose, you're going to have to pay, someone's going to have to pay your opponent's legal fees. You take out insurance at the beginning of the case in order to pay uh, for that eventuality. Now, of course, that has a price tag like any insurance. And typically in, uh, in litigation, it's been an insurance that's only paid at the end of the case and, the, and only if you win. But unfortunately, things have changed since April 2013. And you'll probably now have to put your pocket in, uh, put your pocket in, put your hand in your pocket, sorry, for insurance at an earlier, at an earlier stage. Um, and that could be 500, 1,000, 5,000, it depends upon the size of uh, uh, complexity and the risks involved in the case, all right? Second area of disbursement is a court fee. Now, unfortunately, court fees have gone up massively so that previously it would be a matter of a hundred a matter of a few hundred pounds to issue a claim in the county court of England and Wales. Now it's a percentage of the claim value. Now to take a, a one hundred thousand pound claim, and I've actually had a, an instruction recently in this region where I've had to explain all of this to my client, you're looking at having to find uh, five thousand pounds. I think it's four point five percent if you file electronically. But just in order to commence a claim against a, an ex-partner who won't give you a share of the property that you bought together and you might have paid for and put a deposit down on, perhaps you're not on the title deeds, perhaps you are on the title deeds, 
they are uh, challenging your rights to share that property, okay, after the relationship is broken down. Um, so that's a substantial amount of money to have to find. Now the third category is barristers' fees. Sometimes barristers will do no win, no fee, but my experience is often the good ones don't want to do no win, no fee. Don't want to take too much of a risk, particularly let's say the, the, the claim isn't you know isn't, isn't huge. So you're going to have to find a cost of barristers' fees. Now what could that be? Well, just thinking about recent cases that I've done, could be seven hundred fifty pounds, could be fifteen hundred pounds could be four thousand five thousand pounds if your claim goes all the way to trial very small percentage of claims do I think it's you know, less than five percent or even you know two point five percent or something like that nevertheless um, you know that is a you'll certainly need to pay for a barrister's fees initially perhaps for an advice and you may need to pay for a barrister to go to preliminary interlocutory they're called hearings on the way to trial so you can see that actually uh, no win no fee doesn't necessarily mean no fee does it because you've got to pay for, someone's got to pay for these disbursements now you can say well okay I'm going to find I found a law firm perhaps it's a, probably a big law firm because you need to be big to mitigate the risk to take on loads of cases um, may say don't worry we'll fund the disbursements we'll pay for the disbursements okay and there are litigation funders and law firms that will assist you with these litigation costs. Now, but of course, again, it all comes to price. What is that price? Well, it's possibly a higher percentage. So no win, no fee, uh, without going into the details of success fees, but just trying to boil it down and keep it simple. Rather than taking 25% of your winnings, they may be taking 35% of your winnings or 40% of your winnings. So, you know, there, there is always a, a price tag. Now, other law firms may say, look, we're going to do 25%, but you may have to put your hand in your pocket uh, for these various items of cost. So, uh, there it is. Now, you are thinking, oh, you know, crikey, uh, this is all quite sort of serious and, 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 and heavyweight. Well, it's kind of not, in a way, because you could just part with a bigger percentage of your winnings, yeah? Uh, and be done with the problem. But you might feel, no, nah, no. So you might want to put your hand in your pocket and cash flow the litigation, at least to that extent. Now, you, now, finally, to conclude, you may be thinking, well, you know what? I think this will get resolved with a lawyer's letter, yeah? I think we won't need to issue proceedings in the county court. This is, you know, this will get sorted. Now, that happens. I'm just thinking of a case now, uh, a year ago, two years ago now, where um, they came to an amicable arrangement. It was great, uh, and that was, and we didn't do it on no win, no fee. Yeah, we did it at ordinary hourly sort of taxi meter basis of paying paying the legal fees, um, and certainly for a very large value claim. But you know, it's worthwhile just going on a taxi meter basis rather than looking at no win no fee at all but I'm assuming that you're watching this video because you're interested in no win no fee now the problem with thinking that it might get settled quickly because you've instructed solicitors is if is any opponent who's instructed solicitors themselves or even if they haven't uh, is going to be aware if they've got half a brain that you know, a court fee is a large amount of money yeah Five percent of the claim value, and let's say there's two hundred thousand pound equity in the property. You want a half of it because you say you half own that property. That's a lot of money, and unfortunately, the what's the word? It's the nature, it, the nature of things, and the way that human beings work is they'd rather avoid a problem and ignore a problem and hope it goes away than actually take action to deal with something, particularly where there's, there's some acrimony in a partnership split. So, uh, particularly also where the law is somewhat grey, the law on cohabitation property disputes, have a look at some of my other vlogs, isn't cut and dry, it's not like, uh, it's not like marriage, not, not, it's not like divorce rather, it's not family. So, 
the danger is that the, the very real danger is that actually they're going to just see if you've got a big enough pair of if you've got the nerve and it's you know it's so much in, in life it's down to fear and risk and uh, and I guess I'd do it too if I was a disgruntled partner faced with a claim for 50 percent of the property that I was living in and you wanted to sell it to get your 50 percent out I would just wait to see whether or not you had the nerve whether you were courageous enough tough enough to issue proceedings and put your hand in your pocket for five thousand from the five thousand pound court fee so and I, I you know I see that time and time again so be very clear uh, when you are you know that you do have this conversation so, you know to conclude and wrap up it's very important you do have this conversation with your solicitor at the time that you are instructing them it's all about preparing yourself beforehand and the best way to get the best results is to be prepared for battle you know I mean any military commander will probably tell you that the best way to avoid a battle is to be really well prepared and better prepared than your enemy. So uh, you do that by be being prepared for trial. And so therefore, when you're talking to your sister and you're instructing him in your case to represent you, don't be thinking, oh, well, perhaps a letter will do it. And then that didn't work. Perhaps something else will do it. And well, OK, that didn't work. Uh, Perhaps mediation will do it, or well, that didn't work, you know. So you've got to be prepared for trial, and that means you've got to get clarity with your sister about how the, the, these disbursements are going to be dealt with. Or you can just buy your way out of the problem by giving the lawyer a much bigger percentage of your winnings. Okay, hope that's been of assistance. Bye for now.